So it happened. The Fed increased the interest rate by a quarter of a percent. That's 25 basis points. So that means that buyer demand is automatically going to drop off the cliff and first time buyers are going to enter the market. Pigs can fly, and this is gonna grow. Hi there, this is Anant Dior's AD. I'm a Chicago realtor with eXp Realty, and this is how is the Chicago real estate market for March 2021. If I didn't grab your attention, you are not in the right place. I discuss everything real estate in Chicago on my secondary channel here, Anant Dior's Chicago Real Estate. And as always with these market updates, this how's the market, I discuss the leading indicators, not lagging, and what the impact is, this is most important folks, what the impact is to buyers and sellers considering residential Chicago real estate. The four leading indicators, and I say leading indicators, it is current data as of the February, it's the month of February that is reported in March, versus your lag indicator is something like sales price and closed sales, which don't originate in this February month. They may have originated in January or December. So the four leading indicators are new listings, listings to contract, you can look, see right over here, month supply of inventory, month supply of homes for sale, and under contract. So new listings, you can see here, it is just over 4,000. What's really interesting is if you look at it from a year ago, it's actually the inverse. It's the opposite trending. But we all anticipate, regardless of a pandemic, that typically seasonal in Chicago in the months of March, April, May, June, everything trends up. So I do anticipate, regardless of what I said, that kind of attention getter in the beginning, that we will continue to trend up. New inventory will continue. As in sellers' minds, this is the time if they're going to sell. More listings should go, but it's really interesting how a year ago it was actually reversed, but then if you see the trends, it continued up. So let's see what happens in the future. That's new listings. Next is your listings to contract, right around 22 days. Now again, this is for Chicago. It is much faster than that. I work with a lot of buyers in my neighborhood of Lakeview and surrounding areas, and things are flying off the shelves in, in within a week, sometimes two or three days. But this is for Chicago median, right? Um, good sample size, around 22 days. Your month supply, this is a very important metric. Month supply is basically, it's that relationship between active sales and pending sales. And as you can see in here in a normal market, we're at like four, five, we're at two, two months. So all things being equal, if nothing else came onto the market, we'd only have two months of inventory remaining. Now, of course, right, this is a dynamic metric. That's never going to happen. There's always going to be an ebb and flow of demand and supply. But at this point in time, based upon that February data, comparing it to 12 months rolling average of pending sales, that is two months. And finally, under contract, which is another way of saying buyer demand, was right around 2,700. In this, very interesting, it's actually not the inverse from last year. It's trending in the same direction. You can see that kind of slight increase of February 2021. And you're seeing that here in February 22 data, of course, reported in March. And I do anticipate, well, wait a second. Didn't I just say there was a rate hike? Listen, there is going to be a little slowing. Of course, first time home buyers who are rate sensitive may decide to wait on the sidelines a bit. But it's just one variable, folks. It's very, very important. Please repeat this section, play it back. Interest rates is only one variable of the overall monthly payment. So, you know, it really kind of depends on what's your overall monthly payment. So let's craft a plan to get you to that monthly payment, regardless of what the interest rate is. So I would not be so concerned, but this is under contract, okay? So buyers, again, don't be concerned, reach out to me. Let's see if we can craft a, a plan for you to get you to your monthly payment. Sellers, what are you waiting for here? Market is still strong. Get your property on the market. Inventory is low. We're seeing multiple offers for sellers in all these key neighborhoods, north side, south side, um, west side. Go ahead and put your place on the market. I hope you found value in this. If you want a customized market report or how's the market for your neighborhood, I'm happy to do it. Comment below or you can email me. I have all of our information on the screen. Now what I'd like you to do is there's two videos I'd like you to watch. Don't leave. I have my primary channel, The Chicago Life. 
I'd like you to watch the video on the left is 10 tips to, uh, to know when buying a Chicago condo. And the one on the right is actually, I have buying and seller tips. I'm gonna have the buying tips playlist. They're YouTube shorts, all within under a minute. Great education for you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.